want to read my mind. Well, actually want to read any woman's mind, then this video is for you. So here's a question. Whenever you're in a conversation with a woman and you run out of things to say, or you want to build rapport with her, what is the common advice that you have typically gotten or typically get the advice given by so many other dating coaches, by so many other male coaches, they typically advise you to start asking open-ended questions. Just ask questions is the proverb, right? And while this is okay advice, I have to tell you, as a woman, there is nothing we hate more than feeling like we're being interrogated. It's not fun to feel like you're getting interviewed when you're getting hit with question after question after question with no end in sight. It is draining. So in today's video, I am gonna show you what we women wish you would do instead. It's an amazing little technique that is 10 times better than any open-ended question you could ever ask a woman. A technique that will put you in the driver's seat of every conversation you start with a woman. A technique that leaves women no choice but to engage in conversation and actually be interested in what is being said. A technique that will make all your conversations with women fun, engaging, and playful so that you can avoid feeling like you're conducting a job interview and she can feel like you're reading her mind. So watch this video to the very end so that you can truly see how to easily use this technique in all your conversations with women. Trust me, once you use this technique, you will never have to ask a silly open-ended question to a woman again. I'm Marnie and from here on out, I am going to be your very own personal wing girl. And every week, it's my job to give you the no BS insider information about what women really want versus what they say they want. Plus instantly effective methods to win over any girl you like. So just hit that subscribe button now so that you never miss a video. Now, before we dive in, I'm gonna to toss one boring open-ended question at you. Ready? What's your skincare routine? Because today's video sponsor, Tej Hanley, provides men with one of the best, most affordable skincare routines out there. They help men start and maintain a skincare routine by making the entire process uncomplicated. So I recommend that you start with their level one system, which comes with all the basics, a daily face wash, a two times per week exfoliant scrub, an AM moisturizer, a PM moisturizer, all for just $30. My favorite part about Tej Hanley is that every box comes with an instruction card that tells you when to use each product, how much to use, and in what order. Their products are amazing, but don't just take my word for it because they have over 5,000 five-star reviews on their website from satisfied customers from around the world. Check these out. In addition to amazing skin, members of Tej Hanley get tons of benefits, including 20% off the retail price, exclusive monthly deals, pause or cancel at any time, and free shipping in the U.S. And because Tej Hanley is sponsoring today's video, they're offering my viewers a very great deal. So just click the link in the description box and you will get 30% off your first box plus a free gift. That's a freaking amazing deal. So click that link and start today. So what is this amazing technique that is 10 times better than asking women countless open-ended questions so you can avoid feeling like you're conducting a job interview? It's a little hack that I love to teach the guys that I work with. So what is it? From here on out, I want you to stop thinking about questions to ask women. And instead, I want you to start thinking about assumptions, which is a technique called cold reading. It's a technique where you make smart guesses about a woman or women, almost like you're answering the very question you were going to ask her, like mind reading. Mentalist magicians and fortune tellers often use this technique in their performances, and it makes people think you can read their minds and that you know them well, which is exactly what you want when you're in conversation with a woman. Using an assumption with a woman sounds, or makes you sound actually more confident as if you can read her right away while using questions makes it sound like you're just guessing, you're fishing for information. And question can at times, if done too much, can make you look very needy. It can also make the conversation extremely dry and dull. Ask a question, she answers, repeat. Ask a question, she answers, it's dull. See, it's freaking dull. This, this cycle results in the girl getting fed up and escaping the conversation. And I'm sure you've seen it before. I've experienced it before. She gets fed up because she gets nothing out of the conversation. She did not get any information and there was nothing 
that piqued her interest, nothing for her to latch onto. Only the guy benefited from it, or so he thinks. And this is why many women will stop talking to you after a few minutes of conversation that you think is going well. Because most likely you'll walk away thinking you had a great conversation because she answered your questions. When in fact, that was not the case. But when you use assumptions, it totally changes the conversation. You go from being the taker to the fun engaging conversationalist. So let, let me show you what I'm talking about. So if you saw two girls and went over and started talking to them, you could ask them a question like, so how long have you guys been friends? This would make you a taker because you need the answer from them to continue the conversation. Now, if I use an assumption or you use an assumption, you would say, wow, looks like you guys have been friends for a while. Do you see the difference? With the question, you put the onus on the woman. She holds the power. She has to give you the information that you seek so you can continue the conversation. She has to open up and share. But when you make the assumption, you take the control and the power back. You go from probing for information to sharing the inner workings of your mind, which puts you in the driver's seat. A super sexy ninja move, if you ask me. I know that they say when you assume you make an ass out of me, but when it comes to attraction, this is certainly not the case. Using assumptions with women makes them feel connected to you, attracted to you, and want to listen more to what you have to say about her or them. When you use an assumption, it signals many things to a woman. It signals, number one, you're thoughtful. It signals you pay attention. It signals you're deeper than most men and can see things differently. And it signals that you have insight into others. And as you know, from many, many, many other videos I've made that these kinds of signals are just go-go juice for women. I want you to get really good at these assumptions. So I'm going to give you a few other examples and then I'm gonna explain more about why these work and how they work. So let's say you were going to ask her, do you like to travel? Instead, I want you to turn that into an assumption and say, you seem like the adventurous type. I bet you love to travel. So do, do you see the difference? I know you do. And do you see how assuming versus questioning things about a woman or women or anyone for that matter would get them to engage way more than a simple open-ended question? Like, I know you see it. I 100% I, I know you see it. In fact, I'm going to assume that not only do you see it, you like what I'm saying. I also know that you're thinking something else. You're thinking, Marnie, how can I do this with a woman I don't even know? What if I assume something and I get it wrong? In fact, what if my assumption ends up insulting her? She'll hate me for it and I will lose my shot completely. And that is the genius part about this technique is that it doesn't matter and you won't, I promise you. Because if you get it wrong, they'll just tell you the answer of what your original question was right? What's more, she's going to become intrigued as to why you guessed that about her. This is perfect for flirting, by the way. If you get it right, she'll feel like you know her. You instantly become closer to her because of it. She'll think, how does he know that about me? I have to talk to him and find out more. Or better yet, wow, he can totally see who I am. So how genius is that? Either way, it gets women to open up and share something about themselves with you so that more conversation can happen. So let's use that example from earlier to show you how it doesn't matter if you're right or wrong, okay? So you, again, make the assumption that two, the two women you're talking to are best friends for years. You seem like you have been friends for years, to which these ladies will always respond by first looking at each other, because that's what women do, because that's how we work. We want to see what the other one's thinking. And then they can either say something that proves your assumption true, like oh, we, we've known each other since we were 14 years old. How did you know that? Or it proves your assumption to be wrong. We literally just met tonight. What made you think we were friends forever? See how both responses get them engaged and curious, wanting to know more and asking you questions instead of the other way around. Here are some more examples. So you can ask a boring question like, so where are you from? Which everybody always asks. Or you can playfully make an assumption like, you're totally from the East Coast, aren't you? I actually get flattered when people say that assumption to me. I don't know why, but I do. Or how about the one that most people ask? So what do you do for a living versus I'm guessing you're a lawyer. Can you feel for yourself how this little tweak can bring out a totally different kind of response from a woman? Most women are going to want to know why. Why did you assume that about me, right? Why do you, why do you think that? For good or for bad, she doesn't know yet. 
It creates intrigue, and intrigue leads to interest. Moreover, it puts you in control in the position of power, so to speak. And it's an amazing place to start a conversation from. Best part is, it's such an easy technique as well. After all, if you really look at it, there's really only three basic types of assumptions. First are the assumptions based on somebody's actions. This is where you observe a girl's actions and make a guess about her based on that. So let's say you see a girl at your local park and she's sitting and reading a book very intently. You could go up to her and say, wow, you must have been a straight A student in high school. Or if you want to tease her a little, you might say something like, you seem like a bit of a nerd. Tell me you're into Star Wars and board games, right? Cute little tease. Now the second assumption, the second type of assumption is based on items and objects she might have or is wearing. So let's say you meet a woman who is dressed up very well and is wearing a very nice hat. You could say to her, you must be into designer fashion. Or once again, if you'd like to take the playful route, you might say something like, you're one of those crazy fashion influencers, aren't you? Finally, the last type of assumption is one based on relationships. This is where you make a guess about the relationship between two people or two things. I already gave you that example before with the two best friends. You can use that one. So I'm not gonna repeat myself because I actually said it twice already. But I hope this has given you more clarity on how to make assumptions work for you. It's all about being observant and then making a guess. It's fun. There's no need to over overthink and the guess can be out of this world or totally in this world. And as we discussed earlier, whether you're right or wrong doesn't matter. You win either way. You'll have her attention hooked on you. So start using this awesome trick ASAP. I want you to try to use this technique in your conversations with women this week or with anybody, okay? I want you to use this in your conversations with everyone this week and see for yourself just how engaging assumptions can be. And my bet is that you are going to retire all your go-to open-ended questions and this will be one of your favorite conversation tools in your tool belt. Oh, one last thing. Guys who understand what to say and how to say it to women are incredibly rare, which is why the few who do get it, also have more sexual options than they can handle. And cold reading is the first step in conversation to get her engaged without feeling interrogated or interviewed and feeling like her mind's being read. But things are just getting started. Now you have to reel her in. If you're interested in having the power to quickly create these kind of emotional connections with women that are sexual in nature, 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 and here's what I suggest. Go take a look at my top rated program, The F Formula, by clicking the link below in the description box now. Not only will you discover what women secretly want, the kind of things only a fellow woman could ever know, you'll also see exactly how to communicate with us in a way that builds the kind of sexual tension we fantasize about every day. So fair warning though, once your guy friends see the way women respond to you, once you discover this, they may not let you anywhere near their girlfriends or wives. For more tips on how to quickly and easily ignite feelings of emotional connection in any woman that you speak to, simply click the link below. I wanna thank you for watching this video all the way to the very end. And I also wanna thank you in advance, in advance for trying out this little hack I just shared. Go try cold reading. I really want you to share your results in the comment section below because I want others to hear how well this technique works for you. I'll see you next week.